Without writers, we're kind of howling into the wind as performers, and performers are uniquely well placed to give voice to our communal sense of existence. Without writers, we're all destined to be unheard. When you come to a show like this, where your ticket is contributing to that enablement of someone else to share their story in an impactful way, you are doing what the world needs to do, which is give people a platform to speak. Any kind of platform that gives an opportunity for new, young voices to be heard in an industry that can so often seem completely impenetrable is fantastic. And already, you know, we've seen platform have great successes in catapulting writers to places where they should be and are encouraged and supported and, and nurtured. Poetry, for me, is a very selfish art that is selfless in its return. It's been really uh, fantastic being on stage with such an illustrious group of creatives. It's exciting. I absolutely love being directed by Gemma Arterton and I really hope she'll employ me again in the future. You've had me smiling since I've got here, so like, I think that's really important. People who I've just met have made me feel very welcomed in a space. It calms me in a way which I thought a lot of people should have that. So yeah, whatever they have, people need to get it, yeah? But um, they've just made me feel so welcome, yeah. I'm very moved and excited by Gala and Isabella's enthusiasm. You know, that thing that fills them and fires them. And uh, you know, without that sort of energy and spirit, what's the point? <laughs> and we all succumb to entropy. And so having those people who are continuing to champion the newness of art, the newness of performance, uh, they're to be valued.